All right, so I'm, I'm showing you how to build a, a social posting app, and we've got all the way where the user can log in. We can show posts, okay, but we don't have a post-it screen yet where they actually post things. Okay, so I'm going to add a new screen, um, and I'm going to call this thing the post-it screen. Okay, and this is where the user is going to post a single, a single, you know, image and text. All right, so I'm just going to, you know, I need a text input is, is where they're going to enter text and and so let's just say, enter a post, and you know, on these text inputs, at least with this default and styling that I've got right here, always choose advanced and go down and change the, the hint color to white because by default it won't even show up at all but change the hint color to, to white. And it doesn't show up here, but when you run it, it'll, it'll, it'll show up. So that's where they're gonna type some stuff in. Um, we're gonna show them an image, you know, once they choose one. So I'm gonna pull in image and I actually want my text input to be above, whoops. Sorry, come, on, come back here. Okay, I want my text to be first. I'm gonna add a little margin um, underneath my text input, like 5% on the bottom. And I always choose percent. Um, you know, percent means percent of the screen. So no matter how big your screen is, things will look kind of good. Okay, so they'll type something in here. Um, we are gonna have a button where they can choose a photo. So I'm gonna add a, add a button underneath the image. And you can style this stuff, of course, to make it look better. Um, but that button is just going to say, um, choose image. Okay, and they're going to get to their photo library, basically. And they're going to be able to choose, choose from that. And I'm going to call this guy, I'm going to rename the component, uh, choose image button. Okay. Um, then finally, once they've chosen an image and they've got the text, we're going to have one more button, which is to submit the whole thing. And... I'm going to move that guy down there and it's just going to say submit. Okay. And I'm just going to give a little space, a little margin after the choose image button. Um, and I'm just going to make it, I'll make this one actually a little more. Let's, let's give it some room 10 just to separate it. Okay. Um, so anyway, this is not a beautiful interface, but this is essentially what we need. User types, they choose an image and they click submit um, to submit their, their post. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Um, we need to be able to get to this screen. All right, so I'm going to go to the post screen and I'm just going to add a little plus button. Okay, I'm going to drag it in and I'm just going to put, you know, we could put an icon in there, but I'm just going to put a plus and pretty simple. And, and that'll be called the, the go to go to post button. Okay, and then of course we need to change the blocks for it where, you know, it's pretty simple, but um, when they click that button, we want to navigate to the, um, the post-it screen, okay? So from the post screen, they can click that little plus and get to the post-it screen, which is just going to show all this, all this stuff. And just, just for the heck of it, um, let's just test out what we got so so far. Um, I'm going to live test, and you're seeing my my screen projected over here on the right. Um, I'll just log in. When I go to log in, it says successful, welcome, and then take me to the post screen, and it's not showing my my plus. So let's see. So, yeah, once again, I'm going to close my um, live tester. So on my phone, I'm just going to close Thunkable, reopen it. And I think when it comes up, it'll come, it'll come again. So the, the glitch is sometimes you need to restart the, the testing app. So I click on login. Uh, this time when I log in, welcome. And there, good, there's the plus sign. See at the bottom, it's kind of being hidden by the, the uh, recorder. Okay, so if I click plus, it takes me to this really ugly <laughs> posting page. Uh, but I can enter a post. I can choose an image, which will bring up well, actually I actually haven't coded it yet, but that's supposed to bring up the photo library and then I can submit. Okay, so we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, let's go back and do our blocks for this, for this page. Um, on my blocks for the post-it screen, 
you know, actually, let me go back to the designer. One thing I need to add is the actual photo library so I can choose something. So I'm going to add a photo library component uh, to my to my app. OK, and um, then in my blocks, when they click. Um, no, let's go back. Let's make sure our buttons are named. Choose image button and let's rename our submit button so we just know what we're talking about here. OK, so those are our two buttons, but in the blocks the choose image button dot click that's just going to open up our photo library okay so i'll go to photo library select photo all right so it's going to open up the photo library the user can choose their choice the file will be in this output parameter called photo and then we can also see if there's an error or if the user canceled so i need to handle both of those both of those things okay so I'm going to bring in an if statement here. And I'm just going to ask, you know, first of all, you know, if there's an error, notice I grab error by clicking right on these green uh, output parameters over here and bring it in. If, so if there's an error, um, I just want to print out a status on that. So I'm just going to come back over here to my posted page and add a label. Okay. Um, of course it puts it on top. Let's move it to the bottom. And I'm just going to rename this guy um, post status label. Okay, and just I'll just stick a dash in there so we can see it for now. We you probably get rid of the dash eventually. Okay, back in my blocks, if the user selects a photo and somehow some error occurs, um, I just want to you know say something about it. And in fact, that error parameter, that green block will have a message if there's an error. So you can just stick stick it directly in as the, the text. Okay, if I don't get an error, okay, um, and um, if the user did not cancel, so I'm gonna grab a not. So, you know, if you're trying to choose a picture, um, there's always a cancel button. So you can just go back and say, yeah, I didn't choose one. Um, but so if the, if the user did not cancel, then things are good. And I'm not going to submit things right right away, right? If they choose a picture, I'm just going to show it in the image component so they can see what they chose and then they can submit, okay? So I do have this image component and I'm just going to set its picture and it's going to get set to the photo that they selected, okay? And that's, I think that's all I want to do, except I, you know, that, you know, they choose the image show the picture, um, and then I'm still waiting for them to click sub submit, okay? All right, so that's that's the choose image button. Um, and if we wanna test that, let's just, just, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, if I log in, it's gonna show my post here um, in a second. If I click on plus, and I can just type in X, Y, Z, click on choose image, I can choose any image I want. I'll choose my favorite center, Raphael Warnock of Georgia. And uh, yeah, what's going on? It didn't show my show my image. Uh, let me let me just make sure I chose him. I think I did. Okay, so maybe maybe I've got a bug. Let's see. If if there's an error, post the error. Okay. Else, if it's not user canceled, I want to set my picture to the photo. Um, what's image one look like over here? Um, yeah, I don't know why. Why is this not showing my my image? Um, well, once again, let's close our let's close our Thunkable Live. Uh, maybe it didn't get the you know it didn't update as far as those last blocks I added. Um, so anyway, let's just retest this guy. I'm going to click on login. I guess it's good that I'm showing you some of these bugs. So if you run into them, um, you'll you'll know. Okay, so now I click plus, click choose image, choose Raphael, and there he is, there he shows up. Okay, so our code was right, um, but when you change blocks, you usually need to kind of restart Thunkable Live, okay? All right, so we're still not submitting anything, okay? All we're doing right now is setting up so they can choose a picture. Um, so let's do the submit button, okay? So when they submit, this is when 
okay, they've, they're adding some information. We're going to want to put it into the spreadsheet. Okay. Um, so they click submit, but we do want to check to make sure that they entered both text and an image. So I'm going to put a couple ifs in here and in my submit button, let me just make some room so we can, so you can see. Okay. But in the submit button, I'm going to ask, okay, let's make sure that they did type something in. Okay, so if you go to the red text area, there's actually an is empty. Okay. So we can say, well, if it's if the text is empty, let's put something in our status. Let's set the status to, um, you know, you must enter the text of the post. Uh, but if that's cool, then else if we could ask if the picture's empty. Okay, so I can go and grab image.picture. And, and, and on this one, we just want to ask if it's null. Okay, so I'm going to grab an equals. Null is kind of, well, one's not been set for, for such a thing. Um, so, and if you go to logic, you can grab this null block. And I just want to say if the picture's null, and then we're going to just say, okay, yeah, we got to, you must enter a picture for the post. Okay. And if neither one of those is true, so we got a final else here, then everything's good. Okay. And then this is the normal case where they've entered both, click submit, and now we want to actually add a post. Okay, so you know we've got this spreadsheet map to our app, which is cool, and we've got our data sources, and um, these all say USF email map three, but there's all you can also change it, and we're going to change it, of course, for our to use our posting spreadsheet. And what I want to actually do is create a new row. Okay, I'm going to create a new row in my spreadsheet, which is going to be the data that they've that they've entered. Okay, I don't want user email map three. I want image posts. Okay, remember this just means this spreadsheet, which has these four columns, right? Okay, and it's nice. It, it you know, Thunkable Smart, it goes and looks at the spreadsheet and says, oh yeah, you need these four columns. Okay, and the author value I'm going to put in there. Um, and then text, well, let's just do the text value first. That's going to come from whatever they just typed, right? So I'm gonna choose text input dot text. And then for image URL, um, you know, I've got this picture, but I've actually got to get it in onto the web as, as a URL. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to enter that part of it. Um, and then for the date value, uh, for now, I'm just gonna put in a, a fake, fake date. So, um, so I'm just gonna write now and we'll, we'll change this later, uh, but we're just gonna say some, some date here, okay? Uh, but what about these two? So for the author value, um, you know, one thing that I haven't mentioned is with the, with the login stuff, okay? So when I gave you this login screen, um, it's real nice. What it does is it keeps track of the email password and username, it sets those right when they log in. All right, so we've got this variable username, which is going to, when as soon as they log in, it gets set to the, to whatever the username was of the logged in person is. So we can use this variable way over here in our post-it screen. Okay, and that variable is called username. Okay, and it got set in that login page, all right? So that template you brought in actually did a little work for you of storing the user's username after they logged in. So we've, we've got that. Okay, so the image or URL value is the last one we need. I'm not gonna do this, um, do this right now because, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna, I'll show you this in the next video because we actually need to get the file they just chose, the picture they just chose up into the cloud. We're going to use this thing called Cloudinary to do it. 
and then we'll get the URL and bring it, bring it back in. For now, I'm just gonna fake it. And I'm just gonna go over here and just recopy this surfer dude. Because I just, first I just wanna show you, um, oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm just gonna bring it over here, grab a text block and I'm gonna paste it in and there it is, okay. And all right, so we think we've got it. We've got a little bit of fake data that we need to fix and I'll do that in, in one of the next videos. But when they submit something, we're, we're, we're gonna create a new row in our spreadsheet. And then once we get back from it, we're gonna go back to the, to the main post page. Okay, so I'm just gonna navigate back to posts screen. So we're on the post it screen. If things go well, we'll post something to our spreadsheet and then hopefully show it back in the post screen. Okay, um, let me bring up my app again. Uh, it's hidden there somewhere. Let's get rid of, or not get rid of it, but hide that spreadsheet. I'm gonna close Thunkable. Okay, reopen it. Here it comes. And what we're hoping is we're gonna be able to post something. So I'm gonna touch login. You've successfully logged in. Welcome. Here's my one post, right? I'm gonna click plus. I'm just going to enter, um, you know, swimming, not surfing. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm gonna choose an image. It doesn't matter what I choose because I'm not really gonna use it. So I'll just choose Raphael, but you know, eventually we're gonna end up with Raphael's image put into our spreadsheet. I'm gonna click submit right now and there it is. Okay, so it, it's now showing the new post, which is good. Um, we can look at the spreadsheet and it's got the new thing just got put in there. Of course, it's got these two image URL data that on date that just fixed. Okay, so we're almost there, right? We've got an app where it shows all the posts and the user can now post new things. Um, but one thing we need to do is, is fix the images and fix the date. 